Very genius, Rudy. So during halftime at Globetrotters game, we used this air cannon to shoot the chocoballs into the crowd. Exactly. One taste and they're hooked. Uh, now listen, in sales, image is everything. Yeah. And your look is very... Just bathed the goat. Actually, she just bathed me. But I get what you are saying. Tomorrow, I will wear fanciest suit. Good. And I'm gonna go to the salon, get a tan, my head degreased, and a few highlights. Okay. <laughs> hey, put that down. You're gonna get hurt. Uh, Rudy, don't worry. It's not my first time with an air cannon. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> are delicious and painful. <laughs> this is traditional formal wear of my country. <laughs> it's what my great-grandfather married my great-grandmother in. It was a tight squeeze, but she looked beautiful. <laughs> well, I think you look ridiculous. <laughs> Speaking of ridiculous, Rudy, what happened to your... Rudy. The salon used the wrong bronzer, and then my hair had a chemical reaction with the degreaser they use. Do I really look that different? <laughs> you look like Fumpa Palumpa. <laughs> it is Hachmachi word, meaning man of bad sunburn and green hair. <laughs> oh, it's halftime. We gotta go. Oh, I wrote a song about our choco balls. Listen to this. We don't have time. But I sound like a songbird. <laughs> Where all your chocolate feelings come from. Stop singing, all right? We just need to move product. Tell them about our chocolate balls. I worked hard on this song. They're loving it. You're sorry, man. 